Hi, Dakota. How you doing? Doing well, man. How you doing? Pretty good. Look, uh, I mean, I'm just reading up about you. I've just been introduced to you on screen. I believe this is your theatrical debut. Um, but I, I want to hear about I, I want to hear about your music because I know you've been doing that professionally before you got on the big screen. So tell me a little about your sound and um, and, and 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 how long like you've been performing. Sure. Yeah, I uh, I started playing music when I was about 13, 13 years old uh, for a job. Uh, and I kind of kept doing that. Uh, I grew up in Arizona, but my eventually me and my family moved to Nashville and uh, I was playing music out there, played music out there for a lot of years, you know, working a regular job during the day and the music at night, you know, and eventually started doing the music full time. Uh, we kind of play kind of a kind of a country kind of a we kind of we kind of split genres a little bit sometimes. Uh, and um yeah, so I started doing that, and then COVID struck, and that kind of squashed a lot of things for us. So we were kind of just in survival mode, and then uh, I ma magically got this gig. <laughs> I done knew how this was going to go. I told myself that I was in control. Tell me about a little about uh, your, your your native roots. I know that you have Scotty English and Mexican all, all mixed into the ethnicities, but how how culturally uh, close are you to the, your native roots? And do you do you do any of the annual traditional things that um, I, I believe is the Pueblos that, mm -hmm. do you do any of those things that, that uh, y'all traditionally do? Well, uh, I have, I'm a descendant of Oke Wingi Pueblo on my mother's side. I've also got some Apache on that side. and and a couple other things as well. Uh, but um, growing up, I grew up in Arizona. Uh, so I was near Flagstaff and I was, uh, most of my friends were Navajo. So I kind of grew up with more of the Navajo Apache culture uh, growing up. So culturally, that was more what I was close to. Um, and so, you know, I love, I love my Navajo homies. Uh, yeah. um, so I kind of grew up with a blend in my household, you know, there was the native culture, there was the Chicano culture, there was the white culture, you know, and in the Southwest, I feel like that's so prevalent. There's so many kids like me who are mixed with a whole lot of things. It's, I think it mixes beautifully and it's just so cool to have multiple, uh, multiple different things to grow up with, you know, because you, you can never be prejudiced to anybody because, you know, if you're five or six different things, it's like, <laughs> it just doesn't make sense after a while. How cool was it to wear like that that war dress and everything else in this in while you're playing this character and to, to don the, those traditional native uh garb and and i don't know if it's makeup or whatever whatever you would call it like how how cool was it to be in in that and perform in this character that's um that's that's a that's a warrior oh the to put on the regalia you know and the, and the breastplate and everything uh it was it was so cool i mean and jane jane myers uh the producer she's a comanche woman she's fantastic i call her paha which means auntie uh <laughs> um she did a did a great job in making sure everything was historically accurate as, as we could get it and making sure everything was was legit and the war paint is actually made out of this clay stuff um so that was awesome um just you know you know watching everybody you know, kind of develop their their own uh, the war paints. Uh, it just felt wicked. You know, once you get that on and you get in the, into battle mode, you're just like, uh, this is this is where I need to be. <laughs> and, and last question, like, how different is it performing on stage with the music to now performing on a sound stage or on a, on you know on set as a as an actor as a as a visual performer? Like, how 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 is the preparation different for for both of those? You know, being uh, being a musician definitely helps. Um, the first time I went to the audition or the screen test in, in L.A., um, there was like, you know, like 50 people there behind the camera. And I was like, this is, you know, this is a different kind of performance, but I'm going to just I'm going to just treat this like it's another gig, man. I'm going to just go in there and I'm going to do my best. And if they like it, 
heck yeah, if they're not on to the next one, you know, on to the next town. Yeah. Um, so I just kind of put that mindset to it throughout the whole project. And luckily, you know, if, if I just kept that here, then I was good to go. Well, thanks for uh, introducing yourself to us on screen, man. I, I, I got the feeling that we're going to see a lot more of Dakota Beavers and, you know, and, and different projects to come up. You did a great job. It's a great project and uh, can't wait to see more of you, brother. Thank you so much, Jamal. I appreciate it, man. Thank you, brother.